Do you ever pause when you're speaking English? Did you know that a well-timed pause can add much more feeling to your speaking? It isn't always the words you say. It's how you make your audience feel that's important. This video is the second video in a four-part series that I'm doing on how speaking with feeling will increase your English confidence and build your fluency. In the first video in this series called Speak English with Feeling, I showed you how you can start building your speaking confidence by adding some feeling through emphasizing verbs and adjectives. You can find a link to this video up here somewhere. Today, I want to show you how powerful your speaking can be by adding pauses. <laughs> I'm Grant, and I'm an executive business English coach. I have been coaching CEOs and business executives how to communicate confidently in English when English is not their native language. And I'm taking everything that I've done with these very interesting executives and sharing it with you. If it works for them, it works for you. And my mission is to help millions of people change their lives by becoming confident using English so that you can do anything you want in life. That's my mission. I'm really happy to have you join us here. As a note, when we look at our statistics on our page, there's a lot of people watching our videos, but only about 20%, even less than 20%, subscribe to the videos. So please, if you haven't done so, I want you to hit the subscribe button and let's bring this up so we can bring this message, this mission to millions of people. I really appreciate it. Let's get into our video. Most of my clients never pause. <laughs> they never do. Maybe you feel the same worried about what to say, the words you'll use, and never thinking about pausing. Pausing when you speak can do two really incredible things. First, it adds feeling. And second, it builds confidence. And it really does. It makes your speaking so confident. So why do I think pausing is so important when you speak. First, when you pause, you give your listener time to take in your message and it adds weight to your words and, and emotion to your words. And second, when you pause, it allows your audience to stay engaged, making the message feel more personal to them. Many non-native speakers rush through sentences, thinking that speed and fluency are somehow tied together and they're the most important things. Many think the faster they talk, the better they communicate. Honestly, I think it's the opposite. But I think when you add pausing, what you're going to find is that pausing is an advanced skill that gives everybody listening to you, the idea that you have great mastery of English and you're going to sound a lot more effective when you can pause comfortably and naturally. Here's an example of what I mean. Let me go through a short couple sentences here and I'm not going to pause. <laughs> Let's see what happens with this. And it's going to look something like this. I'll also speak faster than what I normally speak. So here it goes. In business, every word counts when you speak without pausing. Your audience may have a hard time keeping up with your ideas and might not understand the most important points you're trying to make. Did you understand me? <laughs> As I rushed through that example, 
I think all the words kind of run together and maybe you as the listener may really struggle to keep up with my words or, or even understand the, <laughs> the points of my message. Could you keep up? I don't know that I could keep up. I might be bored listening to me speak like that. But what happens when I speak with pauses? Let's see what happens with it. Let's go through the same words. In business, every word counts. When you speak without pausing, your audience may have a hard time keeping up with your ideas. They might not understand the most important points you're trying to make. How did that feel? I know for me, it felt entirely different. I felt more confidence. I knew that you were listening to me. Well, you can do the same thing. Did you feel the difference? What I want is for you to feel the difference as a speaker, not just a listener. And that's what I'm going to try to help you do today. I'm going to share two ways to practice pausing. First, I'll call it the comma pause. What do I mean by the comma pause? Well, when you're speaking, imagine where you would naturally put commas if you were writing these words. Instead of speaking these words, you're writing these words. So where would you put commas? And if you think about this, this little trick helps you pace your speed or your pace is how fast you go or how slow you go. So it helps you pace your speed without feeling like you're overthinking the pause, but instead it comes out very natural. So think of each pause as a way to slow down and emphasize the message that you're delivering. Let me give you another example. Let's consider this sentence. And here again, I'm not going to pause. In business, every word counts. When you pause, your words have more weight. The words were clear. My pronunciation's good, but not very much communication going on. So what happens when we add some pause in here? And, and again, we're going to put this in where we might naturally put commas. And it really works well. So let's give it another try. In business, every word counts. When you pause, your words have more weight. Now there is a powerful sentence. I'm sure you felt better as the audience. I felt better. I felt more confident delivering that message. You can do the same. So did you notice how each pause makes the message feel more intentional and more impactful? And without the pause, the sentence sounded so rushed and the meaning really got lost. But by slowing down, the listener has time to really absorb each part of your message. The pauses give your words a chance to sink in and, and resonate with your audience, which in the end helps build a much deeper connection. Another benefit of this technique is that it allows you as the speaker to gather your thoughts and deliver the next point and be more clear and have more confidence. What I want you to do is try reading several sentences or a short paragraph and practice putting pauses after every key phrase or every idea or where there are commas or maybe naturally where you think there should be commas and go through and practice that. You'll feel power. I can guarantee it. And you'll see how this really improves positively your, your communication style. And you're going to feel that it makes it way more intentional and powerful and has a lot of feeling in it. And you will feel confidence. The second tip you can use to increase your speaking confidence with pauses is what I call the power pause. You can use the power pause as an advanced technique where you pause for two, three, even four seconds right before delivering your most important point. And when you include this brief little silence before your important point, it really grabs your audience's attention. It creates anticipation 
for what you're going to say next. And the pause signals to your listener that something really important is coming, making your words stand out more, making your message more powerful, giving you more confidence. Think of this as like a movie where you're building suspense. What's going to happen next? When you pause, your audience naturally leans in. They're excited to hear what's next. This technique can be especially effective in in very important meetings or presentations where you need to make a big impact on the audience. Let's go through examples again here. So the first time, I'm not going to pause. I'm just going to go right through this. And here it is. If we want to hit our targets this quarter, there's one key area we need to focus on improving our customer response times. All the words are there. Everything's pronounced well with zero communication. What happens? (laughs) If I add a pause before the most important point here, it's going to come out something like this. If we want to hit our targets this quarter, there's one key area we need to focus on. Improving our customer response times. Now, that's power. That has you engaged. That has you interested. That has you, what, what, what's this important thing? That's the power of the pause. I want you to practice this. You have to talk, you have to give presentations or meetings or whatever it might be, but try it. Today, the most important thing we want to discuss is how to pause and how that gives you confidence as a speaker, makes you a more fluid communicator. That's really what you want to do, so try it. And as you start adding pauses, you'll be surprised. It might feel really, really strange at first because I'm sure most of you never pause. But that's what I want you to try to do. Give it a try. You'll be amazed what happens. Remember, it, it's not about rushing through your speech and being the fastest speaker. It's about making your audience feel the meaning behind your words. And... If you take the time to practice these two types of pauses, you'll find that speaking English becomes more enjoyable and powerful. You'll feel it right here. It's so powerful. You'll also find that you build your confidence because you're speaking with feeling. That's the whole purpose of this. How can I help you build your confidence when you're speaking? And this will really do it. Try it. You'll love it. I know you will. Okay, that's what I want you to try. And in the next video in this series, I'm going to show you another technique of how you can add some feeling to your speaking so that you can increase your confidence. And what I'm going to do is show you how you can focus on adding some tone and some intonation to your speaking and how that impacts what's happening here. Please let me know about your experience with pausing and how you use these two steps. And I hope you try each of these steps. It's really amazing what happens. So give it a try and write your comments, share with everybody. How did you do? How did it feel? (laughs) Give it a try. Let's see what happens. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments. And I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.